Is this normal? Is this hormones? Is this menopause? Or am I just going crazy? Hi, I'm Dana Lavoie, acupuncturist, herbalist, and women's health guide. And in this video, I'm going to show you what to expect from when your hormones start to change at the beginning of perimenopause all the way out the other side after menopause. So stick around. So the symptoms you get before, during, and after menopause are caused by changing, specifically decreasing hormone levels. The symptoms tend to come in stages. Stage one is often caused by decreasing levels of progesterone. This stage is often called perimenopause and it likely happens while you're still having your period. You can have these stage one symptoms from anywhere from one year up to 15 years before your period actually stops. These changes can start at any age, sometimes in the mid to late 30s and usually by the mid 40s. Often you feel the first symptoms happening around your cycle. It often feels like PMS is getting worse, or if you've never had PMS, now you do. It can take the form of mood changes and mood swings, like increased irritability, where little things you used to take in stride just set you off. Anxiety, depression, irritation, anger, lack of patience, paranoia, panic, crying spells, fuzzy thinking, lost concentration, poor memory, forgetfulness, brain fog, yogurt in the hamper, socks in the fridge kind of thing, an inability to concentrate or function, and even the feeling that your drive, your get up and go and will to live have gone and you just can't cope. You can get physical symptoms like night sweats, breast tenderness, migraines, trouble sleeping, fatigue, joint aches, flu-like symptoms. You might also get low libido, painful intercourse, or weight gain at this stage. Then your cycle itself might start to change. It can get longer, shorter, heavier, lighter. It can have more irregular bleeding that starts and stops. You can also experience spotting, especially during the second half of your cycle. Bleeding can even get dangerously heavy in some women. These symptoms will all likely be worse around your period or at night. And it's really common in this phase for women who describe this to their doc to be given antidepressants, which doesn't tend to help your self-esteem or your feelings about aging. Women often want to know at this stage, is this normal? Because you're not in menopause and they often thought menopause wouldn't happen until they were older and they feel totally out of control in terms of mood, totally miserable from lack of sleep or unable to concentrate or function. So is this normal? Well, normal is a pretty loaded word. Here's my take on it. Women often think menopause happens around the age of 55, when the truth is that the average age is more like 51, 52, and perimenopause most often starts around 45. So these hormonal symptoms often take women by surprise. So yes, these symptoms are common and caused by hormonal changes. So yes, they're normal in that you're not just going spontaneously mad or getting some weird disease. But there are plenty of women out there, especially in Asia, who go through this time in their lives and these hormonal changes without any significant symptoms, with very minor discomfort only. And to me, that is actually normal. That is how your body was designed to go through this change, and that is how your body wants to go through this change. More on that later. Continuing on with symptoms. Stage two is often caused by decreasing levels of estrogen, and here's what it can feel like. Full on worsening hot flashes and night sweats, more vaginal changes like changes in the pH and flora that lead to thinning, less plump tissue in the vaginal area that can lead to altered appearance, dryness, irritation, painful intercourse, and bacterial infections, sometimes even stubborn recurrent UTIs. And you can have urinary changes like difficulty controlling urination, leakage, and urgency. And you're likely to see more skin changes all over your body, including your face, like thinning, sagging, wrinkling skin. You could get heart palpitations, that's not uncommon. And you can still be having all the symptoms you had in stage one, like insomnia, mood changes, and everything else. This is often around the time when your period will stop. Technically, you're in menopause when you have not had a period or any vaginal bleeding for 12 months straight. 
One thing that is not normal is to have vaginal bleeding after having not had any vaginal bleeding or periods for 12 months. So if you do have this type of bleeding, it can be just a rogue returning period, but if this happens, you should always get it checked by your doc because it can be a sign of something more serious that needs to be addressed. Okay. Moving on, stage three is postmenopausal, and the symptoms are often caused by the decreased estrogen and progesterone combined now with decreased testosterone as well. So your internal fire, your spark, has declined. Typical symptoms here are loss of libido, risk of decreased bone density, decreased metabolism, weight gain or the inability to lose weight, and you can continue to have issues with thinning skin, UTIs, and urinary changes. Sometimes the hormone levels will get stuck out of balance and you'll even have continuing hot flashes for years and years. All right, now so far, I think this might be the most depressing video I've ever made for you guys and I know it doesn't sound pretty, but that's the whole reason I do what I do because I do not believe you have to have all these extreme symptoms. With the right diet, lifestyle, herbs, supplements, and hormones if needed, you can breeze through menopause with minimal discomfort and enjoy an amazing new chapter of your life where you still feel amazing, inspired, sexy, and gorgeous. And you can enjoy the benefits of the experience and the wisdom you've earned. Just like so many women, especially in Asia, do. And yes, there's a reason their skin looks so young. More on that later. But often when you're in the middle of these changes or are just starting, your thinking is so fuzzy or you haven't learned much about what's going on yet and it's hard to get any perspective to know what's going on or to know what to expect. So I've created a couple of free tools to get you started on the right track. Download your free 30 second menopause test to get a quick overview and check in on whether what you're dealing with right now is likely to be caused by perimenopausal or menopausal hormonal changes. Then download your menopause toolkit, which is also free, to get started with the tips that are going to help you ease your body through these hormonal changes in the gentlest, most balanced way possible. And remember, plenty of women go through the whole change with only minimal symptoms, and that's what I consider normal. But our bodies need pretty ideal conditions for this to happen, and that's what I'm all about, helping you find out what those ideal conditions are in terms of diet and lifestyle, and how to then give your body the little extras it needs in the form of supplements and herbs, and giving you my take on where bioidentical hormones fit into the whole program. So hopefully we've lightened things up here a little bit at the end. There really is help available, like a roadmap for having an easier menopause naturally. So stick with me and I'll show you how. I'm Dana Lavoie, acupuncturist, herbalist, and women's health guide, and thanks for watching.